All right, all right, Golf Pit fam. Welcome back to the Golf Pit, the place where everybody gets better. And today we're tackling your irons, all right? I have got an incredible drill for you guys to help every single one of you hit your irons purer, further, and straighter. And the best part, it's super simple. It's called the left leg drill. It's a drill that I've had a countless number of players not only practice, but also take out on the course and it promotes all the good things in our golf swing. Now here's the thing. If you are somebody who, when you view your swing from face on, you see excessive knee movement back and forth, you see pressure shifting side to side, this drill is gonna change the game for you, okay? Now, the truth is, when we are making our golf swing and we're at impact, we want about 80% of the pressure on our front foot, okay? We wanna feel this left femur over the left shoe rotating around that like there was a metal post. So many people, move off the golf ball. And when they move off the golf ball like that, they now are forced to move laterally back through it, okay? This changes their low point, heavy shots, thin shots. This changes their club face, left shots, right shots, okay? So this is a drill, again, that every player we have ever used it with got better immediately. So here's how we do it. We're gonna set up to the golf ball. We're gonna take our left toe and point it right at that golf ball. We're gonna take our right foot, which would be normally, you know, on our regular width of stance, and we're gonna drop it really narrow, okay? We're gonna move it back. I'm gonna feel about 95% of the weight on my left foot, all right? And here's the deal. I'm gonna keep it there, all right? Now, I take some shots where I'm just having all this pressure on my left foot, my left leg stays stable, left femur over left shoe. I'm gonna feel some chest high shots just rotating around that left leg. Okay, it's gonna give us the ability to turn the left leg back and around almost like we were swiveling our left foot into the ground. Do a couple more. Left toe at the golf ball, drop the right foot. I'm gonna make just some chest high back swings here. And really what happens, I get good contact, I get a straight start line, and the most important thing, I get a lot more of divot after the golf ball, okay? When people, come in there and they move back and now they move forward, the club has to release and we get divots behind the golf ball. We take that opportunity away. This drill does two things for us. It number one, helps us turn and stay more stable on our left leg. It doesn't let this left hip or left knee dive, okay? Number two, it now allows us to open up around that left leg because we've stayed steady on it in the backswing, all right? So this is a drill that's working not only on your backswing leg structure, boom, but more importantly, through the golf ball. Now, watch my foot. Okay, when I'm doing this drill, there's a couple ways I've seen people do it correctly and incorrectly, okay? First, let me show you the incorrect way. Here's somebody doing it, left leg drill, okay? Left femur over left shoe. Mm. Not much happened down there, okay? You could look at my left femur stays over my left shoe, but notice how there wasn't very much rotation, okay? What we wanna feel with this drill is we wanna feel like our foot is almost trying to bust out of our shoe. We wanna feel like we're trying to dig a hole in the ground with our cleats in our shoe, okay? We wanna really engage it. So I'm not using my left leg and just staying there. I'm really feeling like my foot is digging into the ground, putting some pressure and turning around. Again, we're simulating impact where boom, I've got 80% of my pressure here and now I'm turning through the golf ball, okay? This is gonna give us great control of our low point. This is gonna give us a good stable club face because we're continuing to rotate. And again, I mean, every one of those high straight shots right there. So guys, this is a drill that you can even use on the course, all right? I really don't care what club. The only club you can't do it with really is a driver, okay? We'll talk about that again, but the driver is the only shot in golf where the ball's suspended in air. If that ball is on the ground, we need to make sure we have our pressure in our front foot and we're rotating around it in order to get our most efficient strike. So when I finish, the pressure should be on the outside of the left foot, a little bit more towards the heel. That's gonna help my toe kind of pop up and ensure that I've rotated around this lead leg and not just left it there and swung my arms. We do that five or 10 times, we get that sensation. Now let's add in the trail foot. 
as I get set up, I get my more normal ball position. We know we're bumping our hip, getting my left femur over my left shoe. And now, with a shorter iron, I feel about 70 or 80% here and about 30% there. Now here's the thing, I'm gonna try to maintain the feeling of the left leg drill. For me, if I'm hitting an eight iron or below, I literally feel like I only have one leg. I'm getting in here and even though both feet are on the ground, I don't need to use that trail leg very much. I can keep my pressure forward, I can turn back, boom, there we go. Now, as we get into some longer clubs, this is where the ball will move forward, the stance will get wider, and I'll tell you what, when you have the five iron in your hand, you're only gonna have about 55% of the weight up here, okay? But you're still gonna be rotating around it. Boom, bump the hip, staying behind the golf ball, working through it. Guys, go home, give that drill a shot. It's gonna change the way you strike your irons. If you liked the video, please be sure to comment, subscribe, like it.